Installing a Bathroom Vanity The bathroom has changed over the years from a modest room to a multi-purpose area. Installing a bathroom vanity allows more storage in a limited space. Before you start, make sure the plumbing behind the wall is secure and that there are no leaks. Then, remove the old cabinet. Here's the list of tools and materials for this project. Turn off the water supply. Determine and mark the location of the cabinet, considering that the plumbing coming from the wall should be located at the center of the cabinet. Then, remove the doors to allow you more room to work. If there's an electrical outlet or an electrical switch near the vanity, turn off the electrical supply. <laughs> Find the location of the studs and trace vertical lines from the floor to a few inches higher than the vanity. To run the plumbing through the cabinet, you might need to do cutouts in the back panel. This should be done before installing the cabinet. Measure the exact location of the pipes, mark the size of the openings, and make the cutouts with a jigsaw or a hole saw. Move the cabinet in place and make sure that it's plumb and level. If it's not level, shim the cabinet along the stud marks on the wall and on the floor. To anchor the cabinet, use 3-inch screws. Drill holes through the cabinet, the shims and into the studs near the top of the cabinet. At the top of the cabinet, one screw for each stud should be enough. Repeat this step at the bottom of the cabinet. Make sure the cabinet is level and adjust with shims if necessary. Cut away any protruding shims with a utility knife. Attach the countertop to the cabinet by applying a bead of caulking around the top of the cabinet. Lay the countertop on the cabinet while sliding it against the wall and pressing firmly to solidify the joint. Let dry and reinstall the doors. When everything is dry, install your faucet. To finish, apply a bead of silicone between the countertop and the wall to seal against water. Finally, reconnect the pipes and the P-trap and connect the pipes to the valves. Tighten the nuts with a wrench, then open the water to verify the water tightness of all connections. Tighten again if necessary. <laughs>